A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, you were at the movies. Welcome back to another installment of At The Movies. Today we'll be talking about the science fiction world of Star Wars, more specifically the seventh entry in the movie series The Force Awakens. I'm Jack McCaffrey. And I'm Mario Lucivella. So, Marty, we have both seen the movie at this point. It's been out for a while. Let's start off with a very broad question. What is your overall opinion on the movie? Well, I thought it was a great movie with a lot of surprises, and I thought J.J. Abrams directed it well, everyone acted well, and I just thought it was very good. I agree, I agree. So let's jump in with the first question. What did you think of the new characters that were introduced into the movie? Great. Uh, everyone was good. Finn was good. Ray was good. Kylo Ren was good. Poe Dameron was good. And uh, even like the old characters were still interesting to watch, you know? Han Solo, Princess Leia, Luke. Right. How did you feel about the performance of the actors for, for Finn and Ray, performed by Daisy Ridley and all the new actors? Uh, I thought they were both very good, but uh, I think Daisy Ridley really nailed it. I thought she did a better job than anyone in the movie. I thought she was, her and Harrison Ford really carried this film. You think that one of the new actors, say, is Daisy Ridley, was kind of on the same level as someone who's so well known as Harrison Ford? Yes. I thought she was very, very good. Okay. And what did you think of the actors like Harrison Ford and Carrie Fisher who came back to repri reprise their roles in this film? Uh, definitely good. It was a little bit of fan service there, but uh, overall it was a good performance by both of them, and they really did fit into the movie. That's exactly how I thought it should have been. You know, I, you mentioned fan service, and I think it's funny because this whole movie was basically a lot of fan service and a lot of nostalgia. That's kind of what drove the movie there. There was, you know, a bunch of the old characters, a bunch of references to the original three movies. And how do you feel that even though it was a nice, fresh, new Star Wars movie, they kind of had it driving on all of that old nostalgia? I thought it was good. I thought uh, Kylo Ren referencing, like, going to the uh, mask when he flashed to the mask, which you see in the commercial. I thought that was good. I thought that he was a very good villain. I thought he was great, and everyone was just good. Now, a lot of people are saying that this movie is kind of like Star Wars 4.5. It takes a lot of inspiration from A New Hope and is basically kind of like a reboot of the movie. How do you feel about people saying that? Uh, yeah, I kind of agree with that. It's got a lot of similarities to the original, but uh, I thought it was still fresh and there was still some fresh ideals. Okay, and you know, speaking of like, you know, the new stuff versus the old stuff, we definitely had a lot of new stuff, like the new villain, Kylo Ren, but it's not like they didn't reference the old characters such as the original villain, Darth Vader. And in fact, you can see that in a clip in one of the trailers right here. Nothing will stand in our way. I will finish what you started. That right there was a perfect example of them referencing the old movies. So uh, we've been saying about how much we liked that. Why did we like that? Uh, I think they just did a really good job of having the whole nostalgia factor for, for fans of the original movies for say adults who were 11 when or 11 or 8 or whatever when the original movie came out who are now adults with their own kids who can come experience the new movie they get to see everything that made the original so great and all those memories come back in and remind them of how much they love Star Wars and without giving anything away there's just there's certain quotes and phrases in there that in, in, in a real fan of the Star Wars franchise, when they hear it, they're going to say, that's from A New Hope, or that's from Return of the Jedi. And it really just makes the movie worth their time. One of my favorite things that Abrams did in this movie was the practical effects. A lot of it wasn't CGI. He said in, in, in an interview that he wanted a lot of it to be practical effects that they built themselves, robots that were made by actual people, physical things that you could see and touch. And I think by doing that, it gave us a really nice feel that was separate from the prequels that was almost all CGI, that kind of brought back that four, five, and six feel, where everything was real. Everything was authentic, and barely any of it was computer animated. Uh, Abrams did a lot more than just practical effects from the originals. He used the original lenses sometimes. Like, he did a lot of references to the old movies. He used a lot of the technology that was used at the time. There's never really going to be a perfect movie. There's maybe 20 movies in existence that are perfect, and this wasn't going to be one of them, and I think anyone could have told you that from the start, but overall, I think the movie was just really good. So, Marty, overall, what are your final thoughts on The Force Awakens as a whole? 
Uh, it was a very good movie. Uh, J.J. Abrams did a good job. He paid homage to everything from the originals. He did the original effects. He brought some of the original cast back. He brought the uh, same camera lenses. That's how into the original movies he is. He is obsessed with them, and he just, you can tell in this movie, he wanted it to be as good, if not better, than the movies for his sake to watch it again. You know, I absolutely agree. There are some people out there, there's, just, there's a lot of mixed reviews about the film right now. And a lot of people seem to think it wasn't that good or it, wasn't, it was like worse than the prequels. Personally, I think Abrams got a home run with this one. I think he did nearly everything perfect. And the small imperfections that did exist within the movie are outshined by the greatness that was all of the awesome stuff that was in there. So long story short, Episode 7 was great, and I'm really excited to see what happens with Episodes 8 and 9. So that's going to conclude this installment of At the Movies. I'm Jack McCaffrey. And I'm Mario Lucibella. And may the Force be with you.